Hello and welcome to my Draw My Life video. This is uh, another vlog episode, seeing as it's not really geological very much, but here we go. I can't draw, I should warn you in advance. Anyway, 1989 I was born in uh, Swindon Hospital on April the 12th, and a year later I was rapidly followed by my younger brother, who was born in uh, June of 1990. We lived in a small cottage in a village called Hatherup in Gloucestershire for about five or six years, and... Um, it was quite nice. I remember I found what I thought was a dinosaur claw in the gravel in our garden, but turns out it wasn't. And we went to a school which was just down the road. When I was little, I was obsessed with uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, thankfully, all of my memorabilia is gone, but it's one of those things you sort of you're obsessed with as a kid, and you grow up and you sort of become a bit ashamed of it. And uh, when I was about six, we went to uh, Finland and met Santa Claus. Anyway, sometime around 1995-1996, we moved up to uh, North Yorkshire because my dad got a job in a place called Leyburn. And we moved first to a place called East Halsey and then on to a village in the middle of nowhere called Asquig, which is a wonderful little village if you ever get the chance to visit it. And uh, my mum ran the village shop for a couple of years. Um, and um, it, it's a famous shop, if only because it was used in the filming of uh, the, uh, James Herriot's uh, James Herriot film, I can't remember the name of it, um, but it is, a, it is a famous shop, and if you watch the, the uh, James Herriot film, you'll, you'll see it. Anyway, um, and there was a, so we lived in this shop, and me and my brother always used to steal sweets, and then there was this one incident where my brother got really pissed off one day, and kicked his shoes across our living room, and they went flying out the window, and raining glass on all of the people below. Um... <laughs> But then uh, it got to about 1997, and we moved, uh, my parents kind of uh, separated, and we moved down to Lyme Regis in Devon with my mum, and lived with our grandparents for a while before moving to where we live now in Lyme, or near Lyme. Um, and this was the first time I got to go fossil hunting. Uh, well, properly, we had been in Yorkshire, but uh, this was the first time I really remember and this, I suppose, is what you could say set me off on the course that I'm on now, uh, being a geologist. Um, and we used to spend a lot of time walking up and along the, along the beaches and on the cliffs. And you can see I've just drawn Golden Cap there, which is, uh, if you're interested, the highest point on the south coast of England. But anyway, first time I went fossiling, and we used to find lots of pyritic ammonites and belemnites along the coast. And I don't know how interested my brother was, but it's sort of one of the things that I remember quite vividly. Um, and I went to secondary school, uh, primary kind of, I can't really remember, but secondary school, we went to a uh, school in Lyme Regis, uh, the state school there, and met loads of lovely people, um, but as is the way, I don't remember, you know, outside of my uh, teachers, uh, who I'm doing the shout-outs to here on the left, the right-hand side of the page, um, Mr. Vine, my art teacher and tutor, and the geography department, which again, helped set me off on the course I'm on now. And I can't draw people, which is why I'm drawing all these silly things like globes and chemistry equipment. And that, that's Mr. Sweetland there. Um, but uh, I met lots of good friends, and uh, I'm still friends with a few of them now. But, uh, you know, when you go to university, you lose touch with lots of people. Anyway, the single best thing I ever did when I was at school was join something, as an organisation called the Combined Cadet Force. And this is big, big thing. I rose rapidly through the ranks in the Cadet Force, eventually becoming Cadet cadet warrant officer when I was uh, in 2007, my last year at the school. But I got to go on all sorts of adventure training and uh, leadership course and all my flying uh, adventures and on the International Air Cadet Exchange, which I've mentioned there. Um, but it was the big reason I became the person I am today. I lost a lot of my shyness th through that. Anyway, in 2007, I left school with a fairly good set of grades and uh, had the problem of suddenly realising that actually I'm not that important. I went from being a big fish in a small pond to a little fish in a big pond, and it's it's something that I didn't think would happen, but it was quite a shock when it when it did. But anyway, I went to university and I studied geology for four years. We studied all sorts of things from you know fossils and volcanics to that red line there is the Keeling curve, which is all about global warming, which is true by the way. And uh, learned all these wonderful words like the one in the speech bubble there, which is a geophantasmogram. I'll talk about that another time maybe. Um, Anyway, I solved my big fish small problem, uh, big, little fish big pond problem, by becoming heavily involved in the student union and working with student representatives and trying to get a better deal for the students. 
And then in 2010, uh, one of the best things that I've done recently, I started volunteering at an institution in London that you may have heard of uh, called the Natural History Museum. And uh, I volunteer at the paleontology department whenever I get the chance and whenever I can afford to do it. And it's just so much fun. I love that building. You know, the, just the Westinghouse building alone is just gorgeous. But I fell in love with the place. And one day, hopefully, I'm going to end up working there. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, a year later, in 2011, I graduated with my master's degree and started looking for jobs. I went to the paleontology conference in Plymouth. And I start. I got a I got a small job in a, a place in Yorkshire, moving back up to the other end of the country again to a place in Skip called Skipton, and I worked at Skipton Museum for three months, uh, cataloguing their geology collection, going through thousands of these boxes. Well, not thousands, uh, probably about two hundred of these boxes, recataloguing everything. And at the end of it, I had to give a big presentation to members of the council, the, the district council, and things about what I'd been doing. And then uh, the next best thing I've done recently is going to Montana. I went to Montana to dig up dinosaurs for three weeks. Unfortunately, I didn't get to meet Hank, but there we go. Uh, Nerd fighters will get that reference. Um, but yeah, I went out there for three three weeks, dodging uh, tornadoes in a tent, digging up dinosaurs. And now, after that, in 2012, I'm back now at the uh, museum in Lyme Regis, working for uh, doing like doing fossil walks and thoroughly enjoying myself anyway if you uh, i hope you enjoyed that uh, feel free to like the video if you really want to and i'll be the same